Hey everyone, it's me, Samantha, and welcome back to a brand new episode of The Decades Challenge. Now, it is not just any episode. Today, we are going to be getting married. Yay! Well, not us, but Joey and Diana. And if we're all honest, we all like to channel that we are Joey or Diana. <laughs> So we are actually currently at the hotel that the family is staying at here in Tartosa. It was really hard to find a time appropriate hotel, so I tried my best. I hope it's okay. Um, and we've got, we are currently in Bailey's household, but Romy is here and all of the grandkids and everybody is starting to show up. So currently we do have Jason Bailey here. I feel like Bailey, since she is the maid of honor, she's probably been spearheading all of the hotel bookings and helping with everything when it comes to Diana's wedding. And then we have beautiful Doris, who is such a queen, we love her. So Jason Bailey are here welcoming all of the guests. Here's Humphrey just showed up. So fortunately, all of the grandkids um, that live with Edward, they were able to travel over with Uncle Theo because Theo is no stranger to traveling, being a world famous celebrity. So he was like, don't worry, Edward, I'll take the kids and they can have a good time. So I can only imagine how excited Edith and Humphrey are because this is probably their first time away from their small little town in the countryside. So I'm going to have Bailey uh, introduce herself to them because I don't think she's actually met them. Uh, but Jace has. They're a part of the little group that we have here called the grandkids. So we got Betty Humphrey, Elijah Max, Patsy, Jace, and Edith, and Benny. So everybody's here. So I'm so excited. We got little Bennykins. I'm sure Benny's so excited. He probably was able to get, you know, the week off, like a little sabbatical from his teaching gig. Um, I really love how social Doris is. She's always been a social person and she is sitting here just greeting everybody. It's so nice to see everybody together. Who do we got in the kitchen? Oh, we got fabulous Aaron. We haven't seen Aaron in a minute. Aaron's like, let us make cake. And I think this might be Aaron's mom, Mary Ellen Holly. Oh, that's the Holly. I just, everybody apparently is at this wedding, okay? <laughs> um, but all of the women are in the kitchen, they're getting cakes ready, everybody is so excited for the big day, and I'm really excited. I love um, Erin's traveling outfit, she's so fabulous. She's like, well, when in Rome, not that she's in Rome, but I love how all of the old farmer country wives are all like, let's just make some cake, let's make cake. We've got Emma here. She's the mother of the bride. She says, yep, well, I better make a cake. <laughs> you gotta admit it is pretty funny that everybody's like, let's make cake. So it's really nice to see the older generation here. I love Doris. First she's visiting with all of the younger kids and now she's in the kitchen helping with the cakes. Um, between Bailey and Doris, I don't think that this wedding would have been possible without it, but I'm kind of worried because Emma looks really sad. So I'm kind of worried about her. So I want to find out, yeah, she's sad. Why is she sad? I'm worried. Did Gianni die or something? I'm a little, no, because everybody else would be sad. Maybe she's sad because she knows her daughter's marrying a criminal <laughs> and she's maybe a little stressed and worried about the fact that, you know, maybe this isn't the best uh, decision that her daughter's ever made and so maybe she's or maybe she's just sad you know like oh I'm, I'm getting older you know my youngest is getting married they have two grandbabies it was just yesterday when we were young and getting ourselves in trouble oh that's sad well we will not have a shortage of cake for this wedding let me tell you Alrighty, so we got all of the young kids around here. No, Jace. Jace, come back over here. Look, we got Patsy here. Aw, she's happy to see Max. Patsy's the brains of the operation, as we all know. Okay, and we got little Betty. I think Betty's probably pretty stressed, so I think having this little vacation's great. And the farm's probably fine. I'm sure she enlisted someone to help, but she's about to open a bakery, so I could see her being pretty stressed. But we've got Jace hanging out with everyone. Look, we got all of the youngins. We got Max, we got Humphrey, oh, handsome Elijah. 
I tell ya, this, this next generation of Dempsey family members are so exciting. Benny's saying hello to little Edith. Um, but I think that this is like such an exciting and thrilling time for Jace. I feel like he's like, man, how cool was it to be on an airplane and to be able to fly over the ocean? And I met so many new people. Like, I, I just love it. Like, so I think that this whole experience is, um, has really given Jace quite the travel bug. Um, Elijah looks a little tense. Elijah is more of a, let me not be social and read books. Whereas Patsy's super social, but she also loves to read books. But she can do either or. Uh, but Elijah's more like, oh my god, I have to be social. This is so not my thing. Whereas M Max is like, book, what book? I need to find the ladies. Where's the ladies at? <laughs> and Humphrey's like over here with his sister. I think these two would probably be pretty nervous about traveling. They've, like I said, they've never left their small town. This is probably like a huge adventure for them. But it's so nice to see all of the Dem uh, Dempsey grandchildren and children out and about just having a good time. I was curious if you can click on these shops and, or like window shop. They are open, so we can window shop at these stores. But anyway, so it's really nice to see everybody together. I am going to go ahead and we're going to switch households over to Diana and Joey. That way we can um, actually schedule the, the, um, the wedding because I haven't actually put it in the calendar yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that. But anyways, Diana, I was going to go check on her, but she's come to the hotel. At least it says she has, but she's over here by the bike cute. I kind of want to go for a bike ride, but I'm supposed to be seeing my family members wherever they are. Where's the hotel? Well, the hotel's all the way over here. Okay, so we can add a wedding event. So I've booked it for a day from now. So we're going to do the wedding ceremony. Sims of Honor is obviously Bailey and Finn. Oh, you can edit their outfits right from here. That's so cool. Polished color can be orange. I love orange. Oh, you can edit and then it takes you there. I haven't played with this wedding events pack, so it's kind of cool to see all of the different things that you can do. Um, but just so you know, I have gone ahead and I've changed Diana's wedding outfit a thousand times. So she has two wedding outfits <laughs> now. So I've decided this is her wedding ceremony for the actual ceremony wedding dress. And then this is her reception outfit. So 60s. So I'm so excited to get pictures with these two. Okay, so we've got the wedding booked. And now we're going to also do the reception. Can't plan more than one event per day. That is so stupid. People get married and then have a reception. I gotta talk to the Sims because I think that this is just ridiculous. So Diana has come to the hotel to check on everyone. Oh my God, look at all the cakes everybody made. Do you think we have enough cake? Well, Emma seems happier anyway. And she's just gonna thank her mom for coming. It's been so long since we've had her mom and her together. These women need to sleep and stop making so much cake. <laughs> but, so Diana's gonna be like, thank you so much for coming, Mom. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, for making all of the cake. <laughs> There's so much cake. It's just a lot of cake, and Hiromi's like, this needs to be cleaned. <laughs> so I'm gonna send her home, and we will catch back up with her when it is time for the wedding. All right, so Diana's back home. Um, oh, little Jeremiah, he's so cute. I cannot figure out what eyes it is that's giving her red eye, him red eyes. So he's just gonna have red eyes till he becomes a toddler. But thanks to, I believe it was Rena, she was telling me I had to remove any mods that had to do with like cribs and stuff. So I removed all the Panda Sama crib mods and now his crib is working fine so um thank you so much rena for helping me fix that i did just realize though we do not have two beds for our babalaroo so we're gonna get a little toddler bed for stefan 
Look at that, he's sad and hungry, and right away Gianni's like, let me rush to my little child. I didn't realize I was gonna love them so much as a family structure. Like, I always felt like they were more of like the, the, the main storyline and like the drama and the tea, you know? But now, like seeing them in this cute little cozy life as parents, I'm like, aww. It's so cute, and I'm sure it makes Emma so happy since Doris didn't have any children, and she never wanted children. So I feel like Emma's probably really happy to have grandkids. <gasps> you know, I was just thinking, I have an art show um, in real life on the 18th of this month, and I was, I'm was i doing a collection of all of my favorite places, and I couldn't think of the last location, and I just thought, what if I was to do the Dempsey's like the farmhouse as one of my favorite locations. I think that would be so cool. So I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun. Um, oh, look at that. Hey, Diana, it's Doris. Do you wanna hang out tonight? So all the girls are gonna take her to the club. Let's get it. I want pizza so bad right now. <laughs> I don't know why bachelorette party automatically in my brain was like, it's pizza time. <laughs> So they are part partying at the club with friends. I feel like, does Diana have any clubs that she's a part of? I'm sure she does. Oh, they have the saps. Audrey, oh yeah. That's the only, okay, well I guess we'll invite them, sure. I feel like Bailey would also be here. Can we just ignore the fact that um, they're in Willow Creek? Pretend that this is just a bar in Italy. <laughs> Back with Tejama, la ha ha. Um, Bailey Dempsey's on her way. We got Benny here. I think it's funny that Benny came. Oh, Mary's here. Oh, is this is side note. Mary's at a lounge all by herself. Oh, I bet she's probably thinking about what's going on with Bruce and the kids. But we're not actually in Willow Creek. We're in Italy. I think that's nice that all the girls are together. We got Elsie here. We got Mom. We got Bailey. I'm sorry. I forgot that I renovated this place a thousand years ago. Yeah, you go ahead and play ping pong with Benny. I think that's so much fun. I can't remember. I know I put this closet here for somebody to woohoo in. Do you know what? I think this is where Stanley was created. I think that I'm gonna give you guys a top secret intel right now. So, Stanley was actually a planned Babalaroo <gasps> in my uh, in my plot twist for Harry's story. <laughs> so, Stanley and Carrie woohooed at this club in that closet off camera where no one would know. Secrets from the Crypt. I should do a whole episode on Sim secrets about the Dempseys that y'all don't know about. That would be so much fun. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested because I've got quite a bit of tea <laughs> of things that I have cut out <laughs> over the years. I think that's so cool that her and Benny of all people decided to hang out. That's good. I'm glad she's having fun. So they're doing that. What's going on down here? We've got Elsie, who looks fabulous. We got Gianni here. I think it's cute that Gianni and Emma came out for their little daughters, for their daughter's party. <gasps> Diana won! Benny lost, final score, three to two. That's so cute. I always forget about that. And we have a ghost here. What's the name of the ghost? Bianca Ransom. Why does that name ring a bell? Bianca, isn't this Rena's sim? that died during war or something. She was supposed to be a main character, but I think she, I think she ended up passing away in one of the wars. This Sim is so pretty. I love her. I don't know why, but I feel like we had a whole story for her and then the war took her from me if I don't, if I remember correctly. Okay, so the event is pretty much over. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send everybody home because we do have to get more married in the morning. I'm so excited. It has been way, way, way too long for Joey and Diana to finally be married. I cannot wait because I want to get on with the next generation of stories and I'm the most excited currently in my brain. I am the most excited about Jace's story. Like I, I am on fire when it comes to writing for Jace right now. 
Okay, the kids are just getting cleaned up for the big day. These two have such, like, their hands so full. Like, they're like, we're getting married in an hour. I need to quickly give everybody a bath. <laughs> All right, the little babbies. Look at him. He's in his little, oh, they have like a little chair for them to sit in. I haven't seen this before with the infants. So cute. I don't care if you're feeling this song. I'm trying to look at these cute baby moments. This is so cute. I love this little family. Let's start. All right, folks. It is time for the big wedding day. Oh, it's sunny on the beach. Thank goodness. Okay, it is the wedding ceremony. Oh, he's still got soap in his hair. That's funny. Oh my gosh, can we just talk about how friggin' cute Bailey looks right now? Oh, what a babe. I love her. Looks like Emma cut her hair for the wedding. We love it. Gianni looks so cute. Um, I do want to change her outfit to the main wedding dress for right now. I really like this one though. So this is the ceremony, or this is the um, this is the location that they're getting married. It's so beautiful. So we got a cool um, area for them to get married. We've got like a little room for her to get ready in. We got bathrooms, and then we got a dance floor and like a reception area. So that's pretty exciting. Aww, maybe we'll put a little bassinet on the lot. That way, actually someone has a pack and pit play in their inventory and I think it's Stefan. Stefan comes prepared always. <laughs> Where can I put this child to sleep? Here, we'll put him to sleep in the reception area. So before we start the ceremony, I'll have Joey come put Jeremiah to sleep here. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's this baby's always glitching. He's got bubbles stuck in his head now, but he's fine. He's taken care of. All right, so let's go ahead. We've got Harry here. Bailey's enjoying the swings. All of the young kids are showing up. Oh my goodness, look how suave Jace looks. Jace is so cool. Okay, I don't know how much of this. Look, people are actually gonna sit. This is so exciting. We don't have everybody that's here, but we've got enough. Oh, Gianni's like, I'm gonna sit here. Okay, everyone's sitting on the floor. Okay, look at this. They're so cute. Okay, this is great. Betty needs to get out the way. Oh, she's like, it's so cute. Everyone's uh, cheering for them. Aww, they're all blushy. Okay, it's happening. Aww, uh, I know that these two are gonna be happy forever. Diana or Doris is here. Betty's being a bit much. She's doing the most. Like, girl, settle down. We get that you wanna be in love, but can we let them have their moment? Oh, she got him a diamond ring. How bougie of her. Yay, they got married. Oh, look at the little birds. And a little heart. So cute. Okay, so they exchanged their vows. Have the guests throw rice. Let's see. Oh, look, everyone's throwing rice. It's working. <laughs> Max already looks like he's ready to party. That's so cute. Oh, look at the bubbles. Betty's so into this. I didn't know Betty was such a let me get married girl. Just married? Okay, they are married. Okay, good. Where are you going, Diana? Oh, everyone's blowing the bubbles. I love it. Okay, ceremony activities. Um, gather for the first dance. Let's see what's gonna happen. Everybody's coming around. Whoa, we don't even need to do a reception. They're doing it all for me. Okay, so this pack is pretty cool. Although, I don't really understand why everyone's on the dance floor. Like, I feel like everyone should, like, go away so I can dance. So I guess I click on Joey. Uh, ceremony activities. How do we do the first dance, though? Okay, so everyone's gathered. So I hope that means that they're... Oh, Patsy's gonna be the DJ. Patsy's like, you guys, we need music for this. She, like, walks over and hits a button. Like, I don't know if y'all know this, but... 
You're still posting after music. <laughs> Little Stefan's watching mommy and daddy. Okay, can you guys dance? Oh, are they gonna... Elijah's up to something over there. Oh, Joey's like, let's have our dance away from everyone. It's so crowded. He's like, let's just do this, just the two of us. That is so cute. Okay, all the guests are gonna dance. Oh, they're so cute. They keep dancing away from everyone. I think it's because like everyone's on the dance floor, but I really do love. She's just dancing with herself. All of our guests are here. Okay, so I would say all in all, it went pretty good. It's really hard to plan a wedding in The Sims, but this pack definitely makes it a little bit better and a little bit more organized. Um, it's probably one of the better weddings. Oh my God, can we just talk about how fabulous Nelly is? <laughs> Oh, she showed up looking like, uh, or not Nelly, sorry, Elsie. Oh, what a babe. I love Elsie. Oh, she's about to just break down in dancing. She looks a little stressed, but she looks super bougie. So I think Jace is, uh, like I said, you know, he's so happy to be with all of his friends and family, but Jace is probably just so excited to have this new idea of like what life could be like he's so excited about traveling he's feeling really great about seeing all of his family i'm not sure how good he is at guitar yet but i do know that he has played guitar and he's always been into music um and in my mind i see jace being like our elvis presley of the 60s so i'm really excited about that i'm gonna have him come over and perform for the family and after traveling, yeah, you go get the bathroom, Emma. I think that, you know, he's just really excited. And I'm sure after performing in front of everyone, which I think at first he probably would have been nervous about. Oh, he's really good. What guitar level do we have? Oh, he's level five already. Oh, look at him playing some old contra music. That's probably really like reminiscent for all of the family members because they're all from like Strangerville. So I think being on the beach of Tartosa, playing music, realizing that this is really what he wants to do with his life, has really ignited a flame in Jace. It was so nice to see all of the family on vacation and everyone together. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the wedding and seeing everyone. I am so, so excited. And um, yeah, so thank you so much as always for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad to see everybody. I'm so glad to see Joey and Diana married finally. It took way too long. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I would appreciate it. And until next time, I'm going to go ahead and say bye for now.